What is up, everyone? Welcome to my channel, Uyghur Man. In this video, I want to talk about China needs us. Chinese Communist Party needs us, or Chinese invaders needs us. But we don't need them. Stay tuned. As an Uyghur man, why I say that? Why I say Chinese Communist Party or Chinese invader needs us, but we don't need them. Why? Actually, what I'm gonna talk is about the video from Chinese state media TikTok published in their Chinese state account called Xinjiang Zaixian. Here it is. 中国为什么不能没有新疆？如果没有新疆，中国的版图就少了六分之一。哈哈哈哈哈。Okay, what they basically saying is, why can't China live without Xinjiang? Okay, first of all, you have to know this is the video from Chinese Communist State Media. To who? Who is the audience? The audience never is Uyghurs or Tibet or Mongols. They are making this type of video to Han Chinese immigrations or Han Chinese invaders. Okay, what they're saying is, why can't China live without Xinjiang? Okay, Xinjiang. Xinjiang means new territory which is named after they invaded our land because then it become their new territory we have to understand Xinjiang is new territory after Chinese invasion okay so this thing without Xinjiang Chinese territory would reduce one six of course if you look at this map my land is Turkestan is one sixth of whole current Chinese territory. Yes, that is true. If they did not invade our land, their current territory would reduce one sixth. Yes, East Turkestan is higher, geographically has a higher height than China. That's why they call East Turkestan is the ceiling of China. They said without Xinjiang again, this ceiling can be only a rich country like during Song Dynasty. Okay, during Song Dynasty, of course, because because during their Song Dynasty, their small country, and we are the rich country, we are big and rich country, so they said, we are only become rich country. What's wrong being a rich country? It means because of you, we are poor then. Is that what you mean? Because you invaded our land, then we become poor country. That's a fact. That's what they're saying. They saying if they don't invade or they lost my land, the ceiling of the China, which is East Turkestan, will become a rich country like during the Song Dynasty. Yeah, that's right. But it cannot be a powerful country like Han Dynasty or Tang Dynasty. First of all, Han Dynasty never involved my land, okay? There are some ambassador came to my land from China, from Han Dynasty, to our land, but they never took over, okay? They never, that territory never was belonged to Han Dynasty. And they saying Tang Dynasty. What a shame. Tang Dynasty was in current China, that, that land on that geographic location. But that was never Han Chinese Empire. Okay? The Tang Dynasty, the founder is Hunic people, or you can say, and their army, their scholar, their governor, 
all is from Hunic people. None of them was Han Chinese, so that is not your Han Chinese empire. That is a fact. Please don't lie to the world. Please don't change the history. Yes, you had Sui Dynasty, you had Han Dynasty, but the Tang Dynasty, the Yuan Dynasty, the Qing Dynasty, even Ming Dynasty did not belong to Han Chinese. This is a history. I'm talking the history. I'm talking the fact. And but I'm not talking Chinese version of history, okay? 如果没有新疆, so they also saying he said without without Xinjiang, okay, without that land, the frontier literature or poems on, of the Tang Dynasty would never exist. Your Tang Dynasty already never exists, okay? That Hunic Tang Dynasty in current China is never exist, of course. So everything Tang Dynasty had, of course not exist. That's a Hunic country, now you are Chinese, of course you're not gonna have that. I don't understand their logic, okay? Okay, that next sentence is, is very interesting. They said directly, they're pretty honest nowadays. Let's see. They said, they said China's gas, oil, or coal, or other resources, natural resources, will be reduced by one third. Yes, because my land, remember Chinese Communist Party, East Turkestan is rich, you are using our land, our natural resources to build your own governors, own communist head, your own empire. That's a fact because you said it here. It's a one third of all natural resources. Actually, what more than that? Only my city provide one third of gas and oil from Karmai. And as he said, if there's no Xinjiang, okay, their new territory, if they lost their uh, new territory, of course you will lose because it's invaded. Uh, a big piece of delicious food in China will be missing. Yes, because we cook food with our love. We care about the color of the food. We care about the taste of our food. We give food our love. Then, whoever eat can feel that energy, they will become happy and healthy. That's what we believe. And we don't eat those wild animals. I don't want to say it here again and again. Those wild animals. We don't eat baby soup. Okay? We don't eat baby soup. That's why if they lost our land, they will lost a lot portion of delicious food. That's why they invaded. Because they want those delicious food. Good. Good 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 mindset. Such a selfish nation or selfish country. You invaded people because of they have delicious food. Okay. There's a lot of delicious food outside of China too. So it means you want to invade them. So it means wherever has a delicious food so you should keep it. You should have it. Is that what you mean? You should learn how to make it, okay? Instead of eat those wild animals, you should learn how to make, how to make food with your love. You don't need invaded some other peoples and kill the people, kill the real owner. <laughs> And they also said in the last sentence, they said, if there is no Xinjiang for China, if there is no that new territory, which is, if there is no that invaded land, there will be a shortage of, uh, of many unique beauties. What a, what a, what a world. What a China. Okay. China, you invaded our land because of 
You want to keep that land. You don't want to lose that land because of that land have a lot of unique beauty. Is that what you want as a state media trying to tell your Chinese invaders in our land? Are you want to? That's why you're doing those forced marriage stuff. That's why you guys just love our women, and our women don't love you guys. So you guys force marriage. You guys doing forced marriage. If you don't marry me, your mom, your dad, and yourself will be in concentration camp. We will steal your organ. I put the title as "We don't need China. China need us." And actually, we can also say why China invaded our land, or you can say why Chinese or Chinese Communist Party do not want to leave East Turkestan. I can make exactly same video and put why Chinese Communist Party don't want leave East Turkestan. Same video, same answer. I will definitely do it. So, what do you guys think about it? What do you guys believe after you watch this video? What do you guys think? Please leave a comment below and support our work, guys. As a Uyghur man, I just want to be. The voice of those voiceless people. As the less than one percent luckiest Uyghur who escaped from China, who survived in this 21st century ethnic cleansing, ethnic genocide, I just want, we just want, be the voice of those voiceless Uyghurs. Who are suffering organ harvesting? Whose land got stolen? Whose people facing genocide? Just want to be the voice of them. So, if you want to support, please click the like button, subscribe our channel, and share our video as much as you can. Please. That's all about it today, and I will see you guys next time.